Coach, you just talk about first couple days of practice, and then uh, they'll get into questions. Well, yeah, well, I think every uh, coach and player um, you know, had a few days to themselves to take a deep breath. Um, as we returned, I thought we had uh, some guys with some you know, freshness about them. You know, there was some energy about uh, getting back to work, but obviously getting a little bit of time away. And uh, it's always a good balance. But we've had good workouts since we've been back. And um, I think um, getting back to the floor on Friday is important as we get reengaged here as we go through uh, the beginning of the Big Ten. So, uh, you know, we have another day today, and then we play. And then from that point forward, um, you know, I think we're going to have a lot less practice time just due to the way that the Big Ten schedule is set up. So these last three or four days heading into Youngstown State have been important as we sort of get our practice routine back because we know we're going to have uh, you know, very seldom where we have multiple days in between a lot of games. When you have a non-conference opponent like that, is it more working on yourself or is it working on us? We're always working on ourselves. I think, you know, to be good, uh, to be great at, at the hardest moments of the season in your biggest games can only really rely on you. And you got to be able to execute the things that you uh, are trying to do, you know, offensively and defensively. So we've spent, you know, really all of our time, you know, on us continuing to try to get better, continuing to try to play harder, getting more guys to do uh, more things to contribute. And, um, you know, as you go into Youngstown State or whether you're playing against Wisconsin, uh, there's always a game plan, but, you know, you have to be really good, I think, at what you do more so than the other teams do. You spoke last week about just the need to challenge guys and be tough on them coming off you know, the, the four win game. What's kind of the balance now? Is it still kind of that same. approach with you? No, it's the same. Uh, you know, we have to keep our foot down and um, you know, we have to be a very goal oriented uh, team right now. You know, we have to be a very driven team individually and as a group and uh, you know, we have to be pushed. You know, our staff has to be pushed. We have to push our players. Our players have to push one another. I mean, the com competition, the competitiveness, the spirit of what you do every day matters right now a lot. And uh, you know, we've had a couple guys come off the break. I've been really pleased. You know, Justin Smith and, and Al Durham. You know, you forget those freshmen. They can hit those walls during school, during finals. Um, I think those guys have really been good in practice the last couple of days. It's been nice to see uh, those guys re-energize, just so to speak, with a – the spirit about them, and I think that's what makes your team better is guys working at it every day. We talked about kind of having just the gap between games to work on stuff. I think there's a, a push in some segments of the league to maybe almost mandate that between Christmas and New Year's, no games. Would that be something that's beneficial in your mind, or is that something where you got to figure out, like, what the 20-game schedule looks like, I guess, and just whether or not that would be doable? Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, there's a lot of leagues that are starting up uh, relatively really quick after Christmas into their conference play. Um, it's a balance when you're playing 20 um, uh, because of the non-conference schedule, how you're going to have to deal with it. So I think there's going to be some trial and error. Um, I do feel like when we go to 20, though, we'll have um, a portion of our Big Ten schedule early, uh, which is going to give you maybe some space uh, in January and February where your Big Ten games aren't as stacked up like they'll be this year. But um, I think when you come off a break in general, it's a time that you can really continue to work hard. Uh, but, you know, conference play is going to get started earlier. Uh, so I'm not sure how it's going to all work. I mean, for us to be able to play uh, after Christmas, uh, to get a game in before uh, Big Ten play was important for us, getting back off the of break. So uh, we'll see how it works. I think everybody's going to look at this 20 games, see how it lines up, and then you're going to have to build your non-conference schedule around it. You talk about goals. There, like, if you had a New Year's resolution for this team, what would be foremost in that? Oh, man, it's to be a much improved team defensively, uh, to be a team that's much improved offensively in terms of execution and taking care of the ball. Um, and as we get ready to, you know, play in Big Ten, in Big Ten play, that, you know, you know we're right there. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, we made some major strides. Uh, I said that, I think, after the Notre Dame game. We also take major step back, you know. So the, the, the quest is to continue to just keep climbing every day and not really dwell on what you can't control and just keep trying to improve. And the hope would be towards the end of the season, as you're a team that's at the end, you're playing your best ball and you're a much improved team than you were before you got ready to get started. A lot of teams that start off hot can fade. There's a lot of teams that aren't maybe trudging their way as, as smoothly as you like that find a way at some point in time to really hit it, hit it, you know, and hit, be able to hit a streak. And I think you're never going to be able to, you know, achieve that stuff worrying about, 
you know, what can you really control? You know, what can't you? Well, the one thing you can control are the things that you do every day, and you gotta you gotta really focus in and not get frustrated with wins and losses and keep improving. Because if you do that, you'll find a way at some point in time during the season to hit it, and you never know where it can take you after a couple wins. There's been a lot of illness going around. Have your, have your players been affected by that very much? Not very much, and I think everybody's got their coughs and colds right now. I think that's pretty much around, but we haven't been hit by, knock on wood, any of the holiday bugs coming back. We've had you know, relatively really consistent practices, and uh, you know, all of our guys, I think, for the most part, are feeling pretty good. As far as challenging players, who do you, who do you feel like are some guys that have really responded positively and, and really improved in the last week and a half or so since those practices after? Well, I mentioned Alan. Um, I mentioned Alan. Justin just post post Christmas have really come back ready. I think you know, uh, moving off of our Fort Wayne game, I thought you know some of our guards, you know Newkirk and Devonte in particular, um, have been turned up just a little bit. Those guys are going to have to stay up. Uh, you know, I think you know looking at how these other guys are playing, you can't be satisfied. I think a guy like Juwan right now needs to be pushed another level. Duran needs to be pushed another level. Um, and for us to be successful, you know, their improvement and their Acceptance of being pushed is going to be important. You know, what you've done right now um, may be good in your mind, uh, but in our mind right now, we're we're not anywhere near where we need to get to.